Hey love bugs, so I am here guys doing the read for a cancer. This is going to be for cancer. All house placements, if the messages here resonate, then baby dolls, I want you to take them. Uh, newbies, cross watchers, you're welcome. This is Red for Cancer's point of view, however, all right guys. All the information for booking, shopping, listed down in the description box below. <laughs> Let me tell you why I'm laughing, cancer. All that work you put in for nothing. This is you having an epiphany that there's a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort that you put into something that you thought you wanted for nothing. And it actually is turning out that whatever this is, it's, it's to your advantage and to your favor that this thing didn't work out. You know, yeah, look at this. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck in the fool. I'm hearing Beyonce's, you turned out to be the best thing I never had. I used to want you so bad. <laughs> I'm so through with that. <laughs> Cancer, this is funny to me. I'm sorry, baby. This is hilarious because it's like, yo. Hindsight is 2020, and you may even laugh at your dang own self if, if once you recognize that something that you thought you had to have, you couldn't live without. Um, it was the best thing that never happened to you. Literally, something's the best thing that never happened to you, the, and the best thing that could have ever happened was um, forward movement, okay? Taking a leap of faith towards a new direction, moving away from someone... I feel like this is going to be someone. I'm going to read from the perspective of love, but for some of you, this may resonate and work. Look at this. You couldn't settle there. Your, your nerves were bad there. Your, your spirit, your energy was low. Okay? You, you, never, you, you, were, you couldn't rest. You were on high alert all the time, Cancer. And I really feel like that's just because your 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 spirit knew that you were someplace you had no business being. Your God, God the divine, your spirit team was trying to, 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 hey, wake up, Cancer. What the hell we doing over here? We got to go this way, wrong way. Yeah, and I'm hearing what goes around comes back around like it does in a song. Look at this. Separating from this situation, cancer, brought you to a space where you are currently feeling like, oh, this is exactly where I was trying to get to. This is fitting into my story perfectly. Nine of Cups. Look at this. Let me tell you, let me tell you what's happening here. I feel like you focusing on you and you pulling your energy away, all right, has somebody hyper-focused on the fact that you're single or the fact that you're out here doing your own thing, you put your emotions back, you freed yourself. I really like this. Like you're realizing and recognizing that what you thought you really wanted was nothing that you really needed. Okay. What's this? Uh, this can be a husband wife situation. This can be, yeah, look at this. I really feel like there was a sense of trying to work on something, heal something, fix something out of fear of like, no, this is where I'm supposed to be. No, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. For some of you, if this is a work situation, this is you forcing yourself to be somewhere, to stay somewhere, because this is how I remain stable. This is how I make this happen in my life. This is how I do this. This is how I do that. Whatever it was, you were putting too much work in and you weren't getting a result. You never felt settled. You never felt comfortable there. You never felt like you belonged. You freed yourself from it. Ten of Swords. Look at that. And somebody can't take it. Somebody cannot take it. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? 
Someone's acting like they don't understand why you made a decision, why you're making this decision. Someone thinks that you did something based off of uh, frivolous things, whatever. But, you know, uh, they can feel however the fuck they want to feel, Cancer. Like, when you make the, the move to leap forward, look at this. This is on you. You're looking for true connection. You're looking for where you truly belong, and you know it's not there, so you left. All right? I really am getting a sense of it sucks to be them right now, honey. Tell me about that King of Pentacles, just like Beyonce told us. The Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Oh, that's interesting. The Five of Swords. Someone could be trying to argue with you about what it is that you've moved on to do, or especially if this is in love, Cancer, like somebody is coming at you about connecting to a new person, going off to do a new thing, and at the end of the day, they don't really know what you're doing because they can't see what you're doing. They have no clue what, you, what you're involved in at this time. It's none of their fucking business, basically. So this feels like a, uh, somebody assuming the Ace of Swords for Cancer. Three of Swords. Seven of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. That's the only thing that makes sense in their minds. You know what I just heard loud as hell? Block them. Block them. Because they're going to worry the shit out you. Doesn't matter that you're gone. You're off doing a new thing. So the, the moment that somebody, and this isn't for all of you, but for those of you who has an ex that still is uh, very actively in contact with you, the moment that they feel like you've moved on and you're doing a new thing, the, the moment that they feel that you're laid up with somebody else or out on a date or whatever, they're calling, they're texting, they're, they're, they're making their presence known, they're, 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 they're sending you that energy to make their presence known. Hey, did you forget about me? That's what that feels like. Tell me more about the four cups for cancer. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, you're moving on. Leaving this toxic energy behind. A lot of you done so. Um, I heard they said four seasons ago. Four seasons ago. Hmm. So that's a year. Last summer. Um, maybe last summer, summer fall or something like this. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. It says, yeah, you became aware of somebody's bullshit. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn. Could be a fellow Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra is out here. All right. Um, yeah. Aquarius, Aries. Mm-hmm. The Strength card, the Hermit, the Eight of Wands, and the World. Judgment. The sun, the emperor. <gasps> okay, so some of y'all um, are in completely new relationships. You're doing a completely new thing or you met somebody new. All right. And, cause, and the reason I laughed is because I heard the song when he said, sometimes you got to pop out and show niggas. Like, <laughs> I think a lot of y'all are like keeping this new life, this new you, this new situation you have under wraps, like you're not, you're, you're like, oh, it's get, it's giving that, uh, K okay, Michelle, you gon' cry, yeah, like you gon' cry, like <laughs> some of y'all are literally like, when I pop out with this brand new thing, with this brand new version of me, with my brand new car, brand new house, brand new person, brand new purse. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, Cancer. When you pop out, it's like people are shocked and appalled. And you're looking at them like, yeah, it sucks to be you, doesn't it? Sucks to be on the other end of the shit stick. Someone's on the receiving end of the shit stick, okay? And you're standing in your power. You recognize and you realize that you separating from this person was 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 glorious for you, okay? It's such an upgrade. Um catapulting you right where it is that you belong you know what i mean because you were unsettled in that space you didn't know what peace was for quite some time you knew no peace and now you do you know now you do let me get a final message for this or what's this y'all final message i don't know okay so let's get a final message <laughs> i'm just gonna do it anyways final message for cancers i feel like there's something else
Let's see. Final message for Cancer. Final message for my Cancers. Yeah, y'all, like this is like, oh, okay. What's the final message for Cancer here? The chariot. Yeah. The full baby, please. Somebody is regretting this. Like, look at this. I feel like their spirit team is like, I, I bet you know better next time. Bet you know better next time. Next time I send you somebody like cancer in your life, bet you jump on it then. Bet you know you you know exactly what to do with it then. Right? Because you out of there. Tell me more about the chariot for cancer. Yeah, the king of swords. Show, you're showing no remorse. The moon, you are clearly gone out of there. You are clearly gone. Four of Pentacles. There wasn't an attempt to keep you stuck in a cycle. Uh, it's not happening anymore. I feel like a lot of you are experiencing emotional fulfillment. Like I said, this could be coming up in October. It could have, you could have separated yourself from the situation about 10 months ago or last October here. All right. Like I, I just feel like, mm, justice, karma's being served cold, raw, and unforgiving. All right. Somebody's about to get exactly, they're about to be introduced to what it feels like to be heartbroken. All right. To lose the best thing they've ever had. All right. Sometimes in order for somebody to know that you're the best thing they ever had cancer. They have to fucking lose you. They have to lose access to you. Lose access to your energy. Access to your kindness. Access. Losing access to the empathy and the sympathy and the umbrella of protection that you provide. Because see what people fail to realize is, is when cancer gets nasty. Cancer gets motherfucking nasty. Oh, we know how to be nasty. And I feel like you're being very cold hearted. This is a cold hearted cutoff. You're done. You're done. Truth of the matter is you're done. Truth of the matter is you, you know someone's secrets. And a lot of you are speaking up on the fact that you have a new love, a new love connection, uh, a new relationship. But I, and some of you may be pregnant with a new child. Um, <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, we. This karma for this person is being served up cold, ice cold for some. That's not all of you. All of you aren't having children. But look at this. Karma may not get you today. And it may not get your ass tomorrow. But the Knight of Pentacles, it would always get you eventually. And no matter what you do to try to run or hide, you cannot, ex you can't escape this. Move your ass to ten buck two inside of the highest mountain, and and go down as deep as you can. Karma will get your ass. Trust and believe it. Somebody is experiencing karma. They can't avoid it. They can't go around it, cancer. They can't go under it. They can't go over it. What am I? That's what Michael Jackson said. Too high to get over, stuck in the middle. <laughs> like, they can't get away from this. I'm sorry, y'all. The tower, they are about to experience something that's going to have them feel like they fighting for their motherfucking life. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You have chosen the path of least resistance. You're accepting that something wasn't for you. And because you accept something isn't for you and you're moving on and moving forward, you are having like this, y'all. Huh. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, cancer. The Queen of Wands. Mm. What's this? Who's this Queen of Wands? Where you go? Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords. You know what this is? Let me show you how it feels to be rejected by something that you really wanted. Or something you think you really want. Let me show you what rejection tastes like. 
But I'm not going to play in your face. I'm not going to fake ass accept your offer or pretend like I'm showing you love. Not like you did me. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do it like that at all. Because I'm a man about mine. So I'm a woman about mine. I'm just not going to fuck with you. There's nothing to talk about. Look at this, the nine of cups. Ain't nothing to talk about. Oh. Mm. And it's exactly what they deserve. What goes around comes back around. My baby. <laughs> it sucks to be you right now. They manifested this all on their own by the way that they treated you. The dis yeah. They had a choice and they chose fucking wrong. They chose wrong. And look at this. They know it too. They know it. Oh, they know it. Their friends may be telling them. Their family may tell them. All right. No matter. They, they, they may. Listen. They chose wrong. Their spirit team is like, we told you, stupid. Oh, well, cancer. Loves, this is where I'm leaving this off at, baby. That's look at this, the star. You're getting exactly what you want. So why? I can't, I can't, um, I can't cancer. I'm going to have to take this reading a little bit further. You know why? Because I need to know what this is. Because when I pulled this out the deck and held it in my hand and held it up to the camera, you know what I heard? We can do it, baby. Simple and plain. Because this love is a sure thing. <laughs> I need to know what this is for you, honey. <laughs> I am excited. <laughs> Let's see here. I mean, this is like, and I, I want to feel sorry. I, I'm not excited about someone else's pain. But I am excited about the fact that you get what you deserve in the end. You're getting growth and expansion. There's something that you're getting and it's exactly what you wanted. It's exactly what you deserve. It's like it's coming in and it is balanced and fair and it looks so good, Cancer. And I need to know if this is. We can do it, baby, simple and plain. Because there's a love is a sure thing. <laughs> No, I can't sing what I'm going to keep saying. Respect you as a lover. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Who is that, y'all? That's my, is that my, real? who is that? Who is that that sang that song? It's Sure Thing. Oh, what's that man's name? I can't think of it. We can do it, baby, simple and play. There's a love, is a sure thing. Yeah, look at this. The queen. When I split this deck, let me show y'all what it showed. Let me see if I can pull it back apart. When I split this deck, we had the fool to the queen of cups, Cancer. We can do it, baby. This is new. Aquarius energy. Aries could be a fellow Cancer. Doesn't have to be. For some of you, this person sits in divine feminine energy. For my males, I feel like this is a woman. This is not a girl. This is a motherfucking woman. <laughs> the sun and the three of what? What the fuck? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Listen, you got something coming in that feels so good. It's going to make you so happy. Um, And if, if you're somebody who's not so much about love, then I'm not. Then this isn't love. This is this, it could be something else here. But there's an upgrade to your life. But for a lot of you, this is fucking love. This is an excellent option in love. This option in love is beautiful. Look at this. Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Moon. Somebody knows it's you from the moment they meet you. It's like they're excited. Like someone's had all these bad options, Cancer. And look how you look to them. They see relate your relationship material, husband, wife material immediately. Two of Cups, four of Yes, it's coming. It is coming. It is coming. The chariot. And justice. Look at this. What, what is coming toward? Look at my little card done bent up, y'all. 
that's a shine. Um, what's coming towards you, Cancer, is justice. You're getting your karma, your good karma, and they're getting theirs. Tell me more about the sun. I see you looking like, who, me? <laughs> I feel like you when someone's talking or someone's showing you interest, you're like, who, me? Yeah, look at this, the page of cups and the five of wands. All of a sudden, you're a hot commodity. All of a sudden, people are on it. They're on you. They're interested in you. They want to talk to you. Every They're on it, okay? Tell me more, like something, and they're, 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 listen, they're fearless. I like it. Whoever's coming, I feel like is willing to protect your happiness, okay? Yeah, the six of swords. What's the three of wands? The knight of cups. I'm telling you, y'all. This is love offers, but one is about to be knock your motherfucking socks off good. Will of fortune. One is about to be knock your socks off good. For others of you, if you're looking for jobs, and this has to do with your money, your finances, your stability, um, one job is going to trump the others, okay? There'll be several opportunities. Like if you, if it's been dry and you haven't been hearing back from jobs at all, all of a sudden you're getting like several jobs contacting you, several job offers, but one is going to be like out of this world, your dream job. The hermit. Yeah, look at this. Oh, and it's exactly what you wanted. I like it. It's exactly what you wanted. Like this is something you wanted all along. This could have been something that you were fighting to have when you were with this uh, piece of bitch over here. Yeah, and yeah, look at this. This is something that that person didn't give. Eight of Pentacles. Look at you working for it, working for it, working towards it, doing the right thing, being the right kind of person, and, and it just wasn't coming in. And then now here it comes. The Strength card. This is Divinely Guided. And the Star again, y'all. And the Fool. Look at this. And the Six of Wands. People are happy for you that you have this. People are really happy for you. People are like, you know what? Cancer deserves that. Cancer really deserves that. To have that. This looks good. I like this for y'all. This is where I'm leaving this off at, baby dolls. Because this is good and we ain't going to dig no deeper. Just know. What goes around, comes around. And everybody's about to get what they deserve. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, booze. And until next time, bye-bye.